Hello folks, how are you doing? I hope everything is good with you. I hope your 2023 has started really well. And a very happy new year from my side guys. And I know there's a big elephant in the room. And that elephant is where was I for last two to three months. And the answer is that I actually wanted to reevaluate my life. Maybe I was in a bit of chaos of YouTube and I thought maybe let's just take a small break and yeah. I took that decision and finally I was going to reach that conclusion that maybe I'm not gonna make any single video on YouTube ever again. But then one day I bought this coffee, I made it and I was tasting, I was sipping on this coffee while watching something nice and the flavors that came to my palate were so profound that I just wanted to share those flavors with somebody. But there wasn't any coffee enthusiast or coffee connoisseur around me. And I felt like, man, how good it felt when I used to make these coffee tasting videos and used to share on my channel and other coffee connoisseurs used to watch them. And I felt really bad, but I shrugged the feeling. But the next day when I tasted it again, the next time when I tasted that coffee again, it was giving me the same flavors to the very last day of that package. And I was like, man, I have to once again start filming these coffee tasting videos. I want my soul. I just want to do that for the purpose that it fulfills me in some manner. And so I bought another coffee pack of this Papa Kuchi Red Honey. This is the previous pack that I finished and here it is the second pack that I bought recently. And believe me guys, this coffee roaster brand by the name of KC Coffee Roasters, it is really good man. Although for me it has been under the radar, I haven't noticed it. But believe me guys, I love Blue Tokai, I love coffee, toffee, toffee coffee roasters, Araku, but this is something that has been ignored and didn't came under my radar for a very long time. But whenever it came under my radar and I noticed it, I was like, wow, this is something that must be tasted time and again. And believe me guys, this one, Papa Kuchi Red Honey is a gem. Now I won't talk much, but I would say that without any more delay, let's get into the coffee tasting process and let's make a nice cup of pour over. Let's do that. Okay guys, so finally here's a nice cup of pour over made out of this Papa Gucci red honey. And believe me guys, I'm really stoked to taste it man. Like on camera, tasting a coffee and sharing the flavor notes with you guys, that means so much to me. You don't know it has become a part of my life and for last, I guess two to three months, I badly missed it. I just couldn't figure out why I'm missing something out of my habit and this was it. So we're gonna professionalize it and uh, here's a nice cup of, not a cup of, but a glass of water. We have cleansed our palate, like cleansed it. And uh, now it's time to take the very first sip, okay? Here's our coffee and I hope that the flavor notes I got the previous time, it's obvious I'm gonna get them, but I hope, let's take the very first sip. Okay. See the very first and I'm gonna be honest about it. The very first sip and the very first slurp didn't give me the completely similar acidic flavorish note that I got, you know, in the very first package. But let's wait for a while, you know. Let's wait for the second sip. The very first note which I got was a little bit unexpected. That was woodiness. 
and I think that's expected at the very first you know the coffee is hot and uh, I can say that much the coffee is hot so you get slightly woody note and that's also good in the beginning you know that slightly woody note Okay, now I'm getting the magic being played in my palette, you know. Mm -hmm. Patience. And with patience you get some... Okay, now the magic is happening. The acidity is coming out, you know. The acidity is the sourness of the coffee that gives it a crisp taste. Now it's coming out. See, something I really liked about this coffee, even though in the beginning I wasn't putting a lot of expectation, it is medium light roast. And mostly medium light roast coffees are acidic in a way like they are citric acidic kind of thing. You know, they give you flavor notes of orange or maybe even really mosami kind of flavor notes. But this is a different kind of flavor note, you know. An acidity of peach. You get that prominent sweetiness along with some acidity you know the sweetiness is very much similar to peachy acidic flavor note as if you're taking some ripe peaches that have some sort of acidity in them and you're taking a nice sip out of them like biting and the juice comes on your palate that kind of flavor note you get almost around third to fourth sip and It's interesting because as your palate get used to the coffee, eventually that woody woody note transforms itself as it as if it is going through some kind of transformation and turns itself into a sort of honey flavor. You know, some nice honey flavor gets beans get mixed with these peaches, and you're tasting that peach on your palate. So. It is a sort of experience and uh, I believe, that's my personal belief, I have just once tasted this coffee with some milk. Otherwise, the previous package, I completely finished it black in form of pour over because it's a really good experience to have some black coffee. All the mocha pot lovers out there, all the people who use that plunger thing, you know, that French press, yeah, I would say that go for v60 because a lot of people on instagram talk to me they say that they use mocha pot i would say hario v60 or some other form of pour over give it a try man and you will say that this is the purest nectar kind of coffee you are getting give it a try <coughs> now the flavors are constant but you know now the time is to take a big slurp, a big sip. Hmm. You know, after you have rounded the complete whole sip in your mouth, the best, the best thing that can happen to your palate is that it gets that warm feeling and now there is a sort of flavor note that is coming out. You know, after it has gone, down in your esophagus eventually the aftertaste you are getting right now after a while is really nice soothing sweetness and that sweetness is a sort of what you would say as a yeah not sugary sweetness it is a nice sweetness of good jaggery you can say that kind of sweetness i'm getting on my palate right now mm, yeah man it's Now see, I have read in comments sometimes that there are some people who like that kind of coffee which is really dark, which has that dark burnt woody notes, is really heavily caffeinated. I would say for those kind of people, this coffee isn't the thing. It is the coffee for those people who really want to enjoy their coffee slowly like me, want to take some nice slow sips 
and uh, are really into tasting some profound flavors because it is a coffee that has a nice crispness of acidity and not that kind of very generic lemonish or uh, orangish acidity it is an acidity which is sweet as if peachy and along with some really nice warmth of honey it gives you and i know it's getting poetic but the aftertaste on your palate is of some nice sweet jaggery i think that's what makes it a really different kind of coffee because most of the coffees even if they are light roasted or medium roasted the acidity that you are getting is really crisp you know very much crisp to the point that you are getting an acidic feeling of some sort of oranges and i don't like that acidity man after a point of time it gets you know very much dull dumb but this sweet kind of peachy acidity it just appeals to my palate each and every time i have this coffee yes after a while it gets monotonous but if you'll ask me it is a coffee that every person can enjoy at least once or twice in the beginning you should give it a try and if you are a person like me who wants some sort of coffee which is not so much bitter which has some sort of sweetness and some acidic notes in it this is the coffee meant for you and in the end i would like to say that if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button if you want to see more such coffee tasting videos in future go hit the subscribe have a really nice day may you enjoy your day well stay caffeinated my friends but not for the purpose of caffeine for the purpose of tasting some really good coffee have a good life